హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు స్టైలీ బ్రెడ్ కిచెన్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ టుడేస్ రెసిపీ ఈజ్ కమర్షియల్ గ్రేవీ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఇన్ కన్నడ కపెచ్చుపు గ్రేవీ ఇన్ తులు ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ మర్వాయి గసి సో దిస్ ఇస్ ప్యూర్లీ మ్యాంగ్లూరియన్ రెసిపీ సో ఆల్సో ఇట్స్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద సీ ఫుడ్ రెసిపీ సో ఇట్ గోస్ వెరీ వెల్ విత్ రైస్ అండ్ చపాతీస్ పరోటాస్ రోటీస్ so here i have you i have taken 50 numbers of uh, calf's shell which are soaked in the water and we need to wash it very nicely in it because there will be a smell and also dust so once uh, you can wash it for 4 uh, to 5 times and then remove it put it in a cooking vessel use the aluminum vessel instead of coating pans so for cooking we going to add little of little bit of water as per the gravy consistency you want you can add the water for shells to cook and then two cinnamon stick and some one medium size of sliced onion so use the high flame to cook this shell to open so in between you have to joggle it two to three times so close the lid and cook it for uh, 10 minutes in a high flame so friends when you are cooking uh, this shells there will be a water kind of soup that we gonna keep it aside for uh, gravy preparation we gonna add soup kind of water so here this is how it looks like once it is done the shells will be completely open so keep the this cooked soup kind of gravy you can keep it aside and let it cool down then we gonna remove the part of the shell of each you can see the flesh is attached to a part of shell that we gonna keep it for the gravy preparation the remaining other part we gonna remove it and we gonna discard it so some shells are it's completely open so there is no flesh inside those shells will be gone as like we will be discarding it no need to add for the gravy preparation only the flesh is attached with the um, shell that we gonna keep it for the gravy preparation so that it gives more taste for the gravy so this all done now let's go for a preparation gravy preparation here i'm using the same vessel i'm going to add 3 to 4 tablespoon of uh, oil cooking oil and uh, for this oil use crushed garlic you can increase more number of garlic so it get good taste and also followed by ginger little bit crushed if you wish you can add more and also some fresh curry leaf stir it once or twice So now we gonna add sliced one large onion. So once onions are golden brown, we gonna add the remaining ingredients. So now chili powder. As per the spicy you want it, you can increase it or decrease it. I'm, I have added 2 tablespoon of chili powder and some turmeric powder. If you wish you can add other masala powders like uh, coriander powder, garam masala or buffet masala also you can add it. So I don't want I'm just gonna skip it and I want to go ahead with the simple masalas. And one fresh large 
chopped tomato then salt for the cook, uh, tomato to cook friends here add little salt not too much because this calm shells like marwai will be kind of salty cook this tomatoes mixed with other onions masala finely if you think like uh, vessel uh, masalas are getting burnt you can add soup which is a shell cooked soup you can add it little bit of soup you can add it and you can mix it and give it a stir so it it the masalas will not burn out this is the time we need to add fresh grated coconut you can add as much you want so this coconut gives more taste for the gravy nicely mix it well so this freshly grated coconut should mix with other masalas and it should be cooked like 1 to 2 minutes so the gravy becomes more tasty once this coconuts are cooked we going to add this marwai like a calm shell which are we have removed and kept it aside that we going to add it then also the soup which we kept aside we going to put it back to the gravy preparation friends check it if it is require require then you can add the salt if it is not then don't add otherwise it becomes more salty so you can uh, if it is required more gravy then you can add extra water so for me the gravy like soup whatever it was came with the uh, marwai cooking that is enough i'm going to add that one for the gravy so i'm going to cook it cook it for uh, 10 minutes close the lid and cook it so it gets uh, combined together and forms very good gravy and also the smell comes very good So once the gravy is done you can add fresh coriander leaf handful of then mix it well and then cook it for another 3 to 4 minutes or 5 minutes then the gravy is done so best gravy mangalorean recipe it goes well with rice and also chapati parottas rotis you can try Let's check out today's motivation that is a hundred culture under one identity that is India. Proud to be an Indian. So friends, if you are for the first time to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also thank you so much for your support and love. God bless you all. Take care. See you again in the next video with a new recipe. Bye bye.